I can be loud or quiet, tall or itty bitty. I might live on a farm or in the city, and Jesus is always gonna love me. Jesus loves me. Or sad, a guy or a lady, friendly or sleepy or silly or crazy, and Jesus is always gonna love me. Welcome to Sunday School. Wasn't that great services? This week, we are, we'll be talking about trust and how different stories in the Bible talk about how different people in the Bible trusted in God. The memory verse is going to be, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalms 56.3 So one of the first examples is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when Nebuchadnezzar told them all to bow, they didn't bow, and they trusted in God, because once they didn't, if they didn't bow down to their statue, they would get thrown in the fire, but all three of them trusted God with, but they had a little bit of fear in them, but they trusted in God, and God helped them, and they made it out of the fire alive. The next example is Esther. Esther it was afraid to go to the king and demand something for her people, but she had faith and tr she trusted in God that he would help her. And the other one is Peter. When when Peter asked God to walk, to help him walk across the water, as soon as God said yes, Peter completely put his faith and trust in God and walked across the water. So we wanted to kind of do a little bit of an activity and we're going to see how much I could trust Natalia and see how many, if, like, we could just, it should catch me in a trust fall. So this activity is a trust fall. So in a trust fall, you lean back and you have to, you have to trust that the person behind you will catch you. So go ahead and try this with people at home. So Naomi's going to see if she can trust me. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. You got to trust me more. Go. Maybe I'll let you fall. Okay, ready? <laughs> Don't let me fall. Don't let me fall. <laughs> so to get on with our lesson, the reason why Shadrach, Meshach, Neshach, and Abednego went in the fire is because Nebuchadnezzar, their king, had a statue made had a statue specifically made for them to bow. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego they did not believe in that. They believed in God, and 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 one of the Ten Commandments is to not believe in believe in false false gods. So what they did is they, they were like, I know I'm going to trust God. I can do anything with God. So I'm just going to go in the fire and we're going to come out alive. So they didn't bow when everyone else was bowing. And, and I think God would specifically remember that, that they didn't bow when everyone else did because they were afraid, but they knew that God would protect them. So they decided to go, them three went in the fire and the, and they turned the furnace up because like really hot more than usual and then 
the guards, the people that threw them in the fire, saw four people come out. And they're like, wait, who's that fourth person? And so Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and God came out of the fire. And then they all start to believe in God because because they trusted in him. The other one is um, Esther. Esther, she was very afraid to stand up to a king, which was uh, higher than her. But when she did, she won for her people. And Peter made it across the water. The, but at first, Peter was scared that God was a ghost. And some of you guys could be, like, scared of ghosts. But the only ghost is real is the Holy Ghost. And, and so what you guys need to do is pray. And, like, if you guys have, like, nightmares, you guys pray. And God will, like, completely change your dream around. And he will... And you'll have, like, the best dream ever. And so I feel like we should maybe instead of, like, listening to what, like, the news is saying, like, about, like, the stuff that's happening right now, we should put our trust in God and not worry about it. Because during the coronavirus, God still made a way for us to have church, and he'll make a way for us to have Sunday school soon again. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and pray over this week. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful service today. Please protect us and let us trust in you always. Please let me pray. Amen. Amen. Make sure you guys remember to, if you guys still haven't learned Acts 238, 239, and if you guys forgot, make sure to study it. And so now we'll do the raffle. So since we haven't done a raffle in a few weeks, we're going to, we put everyone's names in the raffle bucket. So your name is going to be in there. So everyone has the equal chance of being there. You have one your name is in there once and we have five prizes so the first one is a squeezium these are this obviously is for a girl these are super cool and they're like squishies and then the other one for a girl is a tidbits play food surprise um also for a girl this this one his name is barf and, and it's a boy like, or a girl yeah it's a slime ball you put slime in it and it just like shoots out we have the flop right here, which is for a boy, and when you push it down, I don't know, when I was when I put these, but you push it down and make fart noises. And then this one is a little dinosaur, so you put this in the water, and then it will hatch out of its egg, and then the dinosaur will grow from like a little tiny little ball to a nice good amount of size of dragons. So me and Atai will each take turns raffling names on this. Grayson, you are going to win Bart Putty. Okay, so that's for Grayson. Okay, the next one is Nevea. Nevea will get the squishy surprise. So we have Benny. So Benny, you'll get the grow dragon egg and hopefully you have fun and I miss you so much. Okay, the next one is... Could be a boy or a girl. Serenity. Serenity, you will win the, the tidbit play food surprise. This is the last one. Carlos. Carlos, you won. Bark putty. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll be back next week. Bye.